So I've been a full-time content creator for the past few years now. And sometimes I get into these creative slumps where not only do I not want to post anything or have no ideas, but I feel genuinely tired of social media in general. And whenever I get to these slumps, I don't feel like waking up. I am a little depressed and sad. I don't want to get ready. I don't want to see anybody. And the cycle can happen for weeks on end. And recently I've been in one and I'm still coming out of it. To be honest, I don't make a ton of videos where I haven't fully solved the thing I'm going through, right? Like I go on YouTube to discuss how I overcame something, how I got so many views. But in this video, I have not done that yet. I've maybe done it in the past in small iterations, but I'm still in the midst of my creative slump and I'm just gonna share what I've been doing lately to help me get better, but it's not perfect because we're all human and we're going through all individual journeys and shit takes a bit. So the first thing I do to get out of a creative slump is going on a walk. I know you might be thinking, Jade, what the fuck? Like going for a walk, my doctor tells me to walk 10,000 steps. Why are you saying this? But trust me, it's simple advice, but getting literally outside of your laptop, your phone, and going outside has helped my mental health tremendously. I went on a walk this morning, walked 10,000 steps, and I came back feeling refreshed and excited to talk about YouTube. Like I'm able to film this video just because I went outside today. I know so many people like the appeal of YouTube because you don't have to go outside. You literally can just film content and make money in your own home. But going outside is essential for your mental health just because you need to see other sceneries to get inspired, right? If you're always in the one room, it can feel really draining. The second thing is doing something called a loving kindness meditation. I know you might be thinking, Jade, what the fuck? You said go on a walk and now you say meditate? What is going on? But trust me, this specific kind of meditation is called loving kindness, which basically helps you get in a place where you can Give yourself the positive reinforcements to film. Sometimes the reason why I don't want to make content or I feel like I'm tired of social media in general has nothing to do with the platform and more to do with how I see myself, right? I might not be tired of social media. I might just be tired of myself and hate myself, which happens a lot. So there are ways to fix that. There are ways to have more positive thoughts of yourself. And for me, that's called the loving kindness meditation, which you can actually YouTube or Google and there's actually steps you can take. It's basically where you ask yourself, what do you need? And you allow yourself to have it. For example, you say, may I be happy? May I be free of physical pain? May I be healthy and strong? May I live joyful in this world? And then you kind of repeat this over and over and then you direct it to someone else. So then you say, I, you know, may my parents be happy. May my parents be healthy. And you kind of keep doing this you know i think this is really great exercise because it's so hard to give yourself what you need and it's easier to give other people what you need and it kind of just directs your love for your other people to yourself you know and the loving highness meditation is something that has been a game changer i recently started this my therapist recommended it to me and i'm gonna give you guys all the inside scoop you should try it it takes 10 minutes it's really good the next thing that helps me with my creative slump is asking other creators for help. I have been very fortunate to be friends with one of the top YouTubers in the world that I would call one of my closest friends and I'm able to call them up and say, hey, I need help with this thing. And sometimes they're not even YouTubers, sometimes they're other, other entrepreneurs, sometimes they're just therapists, but asking other people for help is so scary. But when you're in a place where you're able to, it has hold my channel so much. You know, sometimes I ask my own editors, I edit my videos on my channel, hey, what should I do? And the last time I asked my editor Amanda this, she was literally like, Jane, you should just take a break. And it's kind of crazy to hear that coming from your own team and editor, but Amanda has been so great <laughs> if you're watching this. Um, and I was like, you're right, I really need to take a break. And sometimes you can't give yourself the advice you need. Like I know on social media, there's a lot of YouTube gurus, but I swear to God, most of these YouTube gurus cannot give that advice to themselves. And it's just cause it's so hard. Something that's really helped me as a creator is asking experts for help. And none of this would be possible without VidIQ. VidIQ is sponsoring today's video, but they've also been such a huge partner on my channel, helping my channel grow with these two features that I love the most. VidIQ is a browser extension that helps creators grow their videos and viewership. And the way they do it is by using their AI software. And the software literally recommends video titles and ideas that will perform well. So this feature is called Daily Ideas. You guys should definitely check it out. It's free to download, guys. And literally every day will recommend you a video idea. And when I'm in a creative slump, this has been such a game changer because say I can't call up my editor, Amanda, for help, I can go to VidIQ and look at video ideas that I 
can check out if I'm feeling like I want to post that day. If I don't feel like I need to post that day, I can save it for later. And what's also great about vidIQ is they also have a SEO feedback tool. So say you come up with a concept and you're not sure it's going to perform well, vidIQ will literally tell you based on the keywords of that title how it will do. And this is such a game changer just because sometimes as a creator, you don't want to be thinking all the time about YouTube, but you can rely on a tool like vidIQ to help grow your channel and let them give you advice on what to do. If you guys want to sign up for free, just check the link in my description box and sign up today. It is an affiliate link, so it helps me out every time you sign up and I truly appreciate it if you do. All right, back to the scheduled video. The next thing that has been helping me a ton as a creator is taking a break when I need to. I am not very good at this. To be very honest, I have not successfully taken a break on YouTube since I was probably 16. Holy sh- I've been posting consistently for five, six years straight. I have not taken a break on YouTube. And it's because I feel a lot of pressure to keep going. And um, lately I've just been feeling very tired, and very sad. I Sometimes I read negative comments and it makes me feel down. And I think it's just that like, I, I really like making content. Don't get me wrong. Like I love making videos for you guys. You guys mean the world to me. Sometimes it's just like those two comments that on a bad day that literally make me want to quit everything. And I know I shouldn't quit everything. I should just take a break, turn off YouTube and just do something else. And maybe this is helpful for any of you guys who feel like you can't take a break because you're grinding or you're trying to make more money, but take a break if you need it. It's going to help you in the long run. And I'm just gonna do just that. I'm gonna probably take probably one or two weeks break and come back to you guys very soon. Don't worry, I have some scheduled videos I pre-filmed, but yeah, personally, I might just need to take a damn break and that's okay. Cause I just need to feel refreshed again. And that might be me just taking a step away. Okay, my next tip, this has actually been really fun for me and I love this tip and it does work really. It's watching your old YouTube videos. I know most of us can't do this without cringing heavily. I know I used to be like, uh, uh, whenever I would see my own face, I'd be like, this is disgusting. But when I watch old enough videos, like when I'm from like nine years old, it is so incredible. Like, I just feel, let's just, you know what? Let's just do it right now. Let's watch an old video together right now. I had really, I had a big breakout um, because I have eczema and my, I couldn't walk for like a month and I had to be in a wheelchair because my like legs, it kind of scratched them because they were really itchy. And before you say, well, you're really young to put makeup, I uh, really Well, first of all, I'm like 30 seconds into this video and I just realized that this girl, this, 10 year old, 9 year old Jade is way better at taking breaks than the 20, 20 year old version. But yeah, like literally just watching that 30 second clip. First of all, you can't help but also see that and be like, damn, what the fuck? She was so cute. But the second thing is you can't help when you watch your own videos to realize how far you came. Like when I look at this video, I just think about, damn, like this girl has gone through so much. Like I've been, I mean, in this video, I'm explaining how bad my eczema was and how I had to be in a wheelchair. Literally, I could not walk. And it just gives me the perspective of like, you're more than just a YouTuber. You're more than just a content creator. You're literally someone just documenting your life. And you've been through so many more experiences and identities than just being a content creator. So watching my old YouTube videos has been so helpful. And even if you're not able to watch your old videos just because you've been starting recently, I just really recommend to watch a YouTube video that you used to like, like maybe an old YouTuber and look at their videos and see how shitty their content was before you got to yours, right? Like I find that just watching anything that reminds you of where you first came from or started is super comforting. It helps you kind of come back to your roots. And that's really important. All right, the next thing that has been helping me a lot during my creative slump is trying a new platform. So as you guys know, I've been very active on TikTok and Instagram Reels and all that stuff and podcasting. And it's okay not to do YouTube. It's okay to do other platforms. And that for me just helps me still be creative, experimenting on different social media platforms, but still giving myself a break from the thing that's stressing me out. And sometimes everything stresses me out and I can't pose, but currently I'm having fun on TikTok. I'm having a little bit of fun on podcasting again. So if you guys want to check me out there, I will link it below. You should. I've been posting a lot there, but yeah, I feel like posting different types of content helps me kind of still be in the game, but not like fully removed, but take a break in a way. Maybe I should just take a break entirely and stop posing everywhere, but yeah. And my last tip is really helpful and it's not reading your comments or analytics till 48 hours later. I have a bad habit. Just because I love data, I love knowing what the fuck is up. I have a bad habit of reading my analytics immediately and then feeling bad because it's not performing. I will literally post a video 
10 minutes later, I'll refresh. How many views did I get? How much comments did I get? How, bro, you just posted Jade, like give yourself a break. And lately for the past year, I think I've been not reading comments, anything, analytics. I, I don't touch YouTube for two days later. And I know some of you guys might be pissed off about that because I don't respond to comments immediately, but it's, really help my mental health. I'll go in after and like like comments and go into the data after two days later, just because when you're so close to your upload day, you can feel extremely panicked. But two days later, you kind of have a more refreshed mind. You kind of look at data a bit more neutrally instead of taking it personally. And that has been a game changer. And I hope that helps you maybe in your YouTube journey. Just don't look at your analytics immediately. And if you do look at it once and then turn it off, don't refresh it like I do, <laughs> don't do that. You do not need to do that. Go outside, go on a walk and just do something else. Literally, sometimes what helps me most as a YouTuber is doing anything else. What helps me get better content ideas is living life. I made a video about this a while back, but it's like being a content creator is not about making content, it's about doing shit that you can document and share about and then sharing it to the world. And sometimes if you're not doing enough of the shit and you're too much in the weeds of making shit, you can feel really depressed and scared and sad and uninspired. So that's why I love to go on walks. I like to travel. I like to hang out with friends. And that's what makes me feel excited to make content again. So that leaves us to where we are now. And if you're in the place where you're also in a creative slump, I am literally right there with you. I have not felt very inspired, but these tips help me tremendously to get a little bit better. And sometimes that's all you need. You don't need to be fully 100% healed and always inspired all the time. But if you're like 1% more happy, more improved, then that's worth doing those steps. And you're not alone, you guys. I feel sometimes so sad <laughs> about social media. I'm so tired of everything, but that's okay. Cause you're not alone and I'm here to support you. And in terms of my break, I will be taking a few weeks, mostly like two weeks off from YouTube, but if you want to follow me, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, social media. I will link it below. You can feel free to DM me. I'll still be online, but I will be taking a break just for my mental health, and I hope you guys understand. All right, shout out to the comment winner. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below, and I will see you hopefully very soon. I promise I'll be back, and I love you guys. Bye.